Nine Huskies took part in NFL Combine testing on Tuesday as UConn football held its 2015 Pro Day at the Burton Family Football Complex. It was a great turnout with more than 50 representatives from 29 NFL teams and two CFL teams. And this group of prospects put up big numbers to prove what they can do at the next level. It's so, it's so amazing. I was telling a lot of the coaches is that as I was training, I could see this day happening. I saw myself running the L drill, saw myself running the three cone, running the 40, getting your arms right, doing everything. And uh, the guys, Coach Bayless, um, sitting in the mirror, like I'm just going back, thinking about the process. And when you train for something as difficult as this is today, it, the results are amazing. When the coaches are coming up to you, shaking your hand, you know, like hugging you, um, calling your parents. Like it's just like, I, I didn't think I would ever be at this level. I feel great. Uh, I, that 40, I was, I was a little nervous for it, but, you know, I just prayed about it, I just had faith, and I just took off, and I was happy with uh, the results I displayed. And after that, I was just like, all right, run routes, have fun. It's something you've always been doing. Yeah, it's awesome to see. This is the last time, you know, our teammates and I can be out on the same field together doing, the, doing what we love, and that's playing football, what we came in to do. It was a rough career, but um, we all stuck out together. We all stuck it out together, and it was nice to see those guys do well. Being back at home um, with your former teammates, with, with the guys that you know how to play with um, was awesome. And, and being in front of some head coaches out here, thanks to Byron, jumping out of Indianapolis, that was, that was good and bring some attention here, so it was a lot of fun. It's a fun experience, but what makes it even special and better is, you know, doing it with the seniors and the guys we you know, went to college with and everyone did really well. It's amazing to see everything pay off and, and knowing that you've just worked and you've worked all your life since I was five years old, worked and worked, had my family behind me and um, and being able to come out here and, and perform well, I'm definitely excited, I'm happy about it and uh, I'm just ready to move on and see what the future has for me. And one of the mainstays throughout this training process has been head strength coach Matt Bayless. Coach, what impressed you most about what you were able to see from your athletes today? They. Uh the way they prepared and, and saw that preparation come to life and um, you know they, they fed off of you know the NFL guys being here they fed off of the media being here they didn't it didn't make them do worse it made them do even better. Coach Bayless is an excellent strength and conditioning coach he pushes you to go beyond your limits um, every day he doesn't expect anything less than your best your maximum effort. When we're training for this day it's not just about the test but it's also about conditioning it's about strength it's a total program. I felt really comfortable uh, coming in with Coach Bayless and um, he definitely just wants us to succeed. Being able to see these guys go after their dreams, I mean, what's that like for you as a coach? Oh, it's awesome. That's why you do it. You want to see people do well and as a coach, that's why you get into it, to make a difference, to, to, to have purpose and you see these guys try to reach their dreams, it's awesome. It's really a huge boost, the brotherhood, you know what I mean? That's something that Coach Diaco's got carrying on and I love that he let the guys come in here because I really think that seeing the guys in the black shirts, uh, you know, when we were running and working and doing all those drills, that really helped too. Praise God, you know, everything went well. Uh, everyone came out healthy. And I feel like everyone just took full advantage of the opportunity they had. A huge weight lift off your shoulders. So after having the biggest job interviews of their lives, now it's all about waiting for their names to be called and their dreams to become a reality. The NFL Draft kicks off on April 30th in Chicago. Reporting at the Shankman Training Center for Huskies All Access, I'm Erica Wachter.